Hi guys, tell you what we're doing. This is the Redstone Ninja here, and I have no skin because 1.8 broke it. There you go, there's your explanation right there. I am Steve for a reason. I didn't just decide to change skin. No, no, I really love that skin, but it got broke by 1.8, unfortunately. But here is my invention for today, and it is a slush puppy drink machine. Now, it's not much of an invention, but more like a decorative feature. I suppose you could add things to it if you wanted to, but this is just a basic template that look kind of cool. I suppose you could add the test for command to test for a player with a scoreboard of money equals however much money it's going to cost, and then you could put you could set block a button or something. I don't know. This is just a basic template. I want to know what you guys can come up with with this. If you come up with something great, um, tell me about it. Send me a link, and I'll I'll take a look at it. But here is the basic template for this pretty cool slush machine. As you can see, the red sun is very, very small, and I'm quite happy with how small I managed to get it, actually. Once again, Steve, not my fault. I'm Steve for now, and for the foreseeable future, unfortunately. But you can see the slush on the inside and the little twirly thing. Because it's Minecraft, it is, the slush is just a cube of red, but that's not really a problem. We can overlook that. So, yeah, let's just jump straight into the... The t let's just jump straight into the tutorial, shall we? Okay, so really quickly, this is how we're going to build it. We're going to put a simple fill clock here, and to do that, I'm just going to pause the video right now and put a fill clock in. Okay, so now we have a fill clock. You can see that's been constantly activated. So now all we want to do is just type so tp at e type equals minecart rideable just like this exactly as it is in this command block right now and then after that you want to put a comma and you want to put radius equals 10 because we don't want this to be happening to every single minecart in the world so we're just going to specify it to minecarts within a 10 block radius and then we're going to tp these uh, minecarts uh, tilde 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 3 minus minus 2 tilde right and then we want a very, very, very similar command. So we're just going to do Control A, Control C, copy that one over here. Instead of minecart rideable, we're going to be using the armor stand. If I can spell it right, armor stand. I think it's like that. And this time we're going instead of minus two, we're going to be having it five. And then what you want to do is, hmm, what what do you want to do again? You want to get a glowstone, block of glowstone, that's what you want. And then, then you want a really, really, really long command, which I'm going to just tab out very quickly and get right now. So you want to be putting this just one block above the glowstone, and you want to set it to summon the minecart minus one blocks. So the minecart will be summoned inside the glowstone, just like that. Now I will put this command in the description, because I don't think... I should, should I should describe this in great detail right now because it will take um, a fair amount of time. So you just want to activate that with a redstone block or whatever. Get rid of the thing, the command block. Put an armor stand in here, and that is the technical stuff done. If you just want to do some decorating, perhaps jump in here, do such. Oh, yeah, I forgot what happens. I forgot what happens when you do that. Something very bad. So. And get just any regular building block, come out a bit, just like this, and shift over here, so we're just leaning over the edge, and then do slash set block, tilde, tilde, minus one, tilde, with whatever building block you want, I'm just going to use obsidian. The reason we can't just place the block down is because there is an armor sand entity there, and you cannot place blocks in places where there are entities. Similarly, if I wanted to put a block here, I'd have to do another set block command, but this time tilde 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 with no relative differences in coordinates to the player. And here I'm going to put stained underscore glass with a data value of zero, which is white. There we go, and that's pretty much the whole thing. Of course you can do a bit of decorating around here, but whoa, what did I just do? Didn't mean to do that. Of course, this is going to be a floor level around here. This is your floor level. And apart from that, that's the whole thing done. Yeah, so that's it, really. Enjoy. But that is actually all of it. That's the whole thing. It's quite small, don't you think? 
And like I said before, do be sure to extend Linus yourself and show me what you can do, you know. But apart from that, that, that that's it now. So if you did like the video, then be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like, then dislike. If you got any comments, or if you did improve this yourself, then leave a comment. And if you really want to, then subscribe. But apart from that, this has been the Redstone Ninja, and my work is done here. Confused? Don't be. Click here for a more in-depth explanation.